Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the fifth episode of my Brandon Bird Let's Play. I realized at the end of the last episode I called it the third when it was actually the fourth, but who could care less? Uh, like we just discovered at the end of the last video, we're going to be able to pass this no problem once our overextension actually dissipates. Which means I'm going to sp spend the next short little period just uh, being at peace. I'm going to turn my army maintenance down. Sitting at 74 power projection. Oh, the dream. And we're going to rival up Burgundy just like that. Perfect. That is the perfect rival for us. Um, I'm not too worried about Bohemia, but I am going to try to block him out from expanding into land we want as we go because he won't add it to the empire like we will so just keep that in mind with those claims there but um if we take a look here i'm sure the french will back us up if we promise them land no they won't they won't oh they're fighting another war yeah you dummy they dummy the 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 other thing to consider though is whether they'll back us up for a imperial ban cb which is the only cb we have apart from I guess we're going to get Humiliate Rival. Hmm. Even though, technically, we could use Humiliate Rival to, to make it pop. Proc. Wait, why don't we have Humiliate Rival CB? What's the... Truce? Which comes up this year. What the hell? Well, I'm not, not sure exactly why we have a Truce with him. It seems really weird. I don't remember. Oh, because we allied him. Do you remember? I, I allied him randomly like a like a fool, like an imbecile by mistake. Okay, everything's starting to make sense. I done did it, guys. I thought. I used my tiny little brains. And I uh, realized what is actually going on. Oh, the Tudor's back on the map. Oh, man. I mean, I, I'd, I kind of prefer that. I kind of prefer that as I start on my words. I kind of prefer that that is my preference for there to be like two nations here uh significant nations as opposed to just one you know um separate pieces and so on but it is a kind of a concern that he's allied to bohemia but i'm sure we'll better overcome that um some somehow in the future uh let's just speed five it speed of five the crap out of it uh the sooner we do that the sooner we'll better pass this Which means we'll stop wasting the Imperial Authority that I'm actually accumulating right now. And declaring on Brandenburg is going to increase it, keep our power projection up there uh, once again. Which is just great. Apparently there are no disputed successions right now. None whatsoever. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Let's not roll marriage him. Saxony. Because he can be a uh, relation slot that we will lose in order. <gasps> oh, God. The tease is real, dude. Oh, man, the tease is real. If Muscovy dies right now, we just straight up inherit him. The Danes would attack us, and we would ruffle stomp him in a defensive war. Um, the beauty of being emperor is we have access to the whole empire. Uh, he's 17 years old, and 19 years old, so that's just a tease. Let's act like it doesn't exist, and if we're lucky, we're lucky. It's not our dynasty, so we can't claim his land. So, uh, yeah, let's just act like it doesn't exist. Now, France is at peace. What's the deal, France? He does want favors, apparently. All right. He apparently does want favors, which means we're just going to have to chill until we build some favors with him. Um, yep. Let's quickly just double check. Now, now that it's the next month. Yep. He wants favors. Okay. Uh, so what will our next move be? The Livonian Order. He's allied to Denmark. That's uh, He's got unrealistically good... Alliances. I would love to declare on the Tudans before the Bohemians back them up, but 
I think absolute priority is passing this first. Maybe if we're lucky here in a really timely fashion, we can just pass this and then go straight in against the Teutonic Order. And uh, if we fight the Livonian Order, we can annul his alliance with Denmark. That might be how we do it here. If things align, the stars align. Yes! Okay, number one passed. One passed. It's not that good of a, you know, passing a thing there. Uh, Imperial Reform. We're hoping, you know, but that's the least of our concerns. It's whatever. We're doing great. Um, I'm hoping to pass three before we abandon the Empire. Yeah. But this next one gives us a Diplomat and Diplo reputation, which is going to make our life so much easier in terms of getting the votes. Dude, what a tease. What a tease. Can you imagine getting an, can you imagine getting a PU over Muscovy? Like, holy crap. Oh, this is a bit of a weird dynamic. Perm was released from Kazan after being integrated from Muscovy. Bit weird there. And he's a Sunni. Um, a truce. We've got a truce with the Tanakh Water for... It's coming up, like, right now. Like, right now. No way. Holy crap. We're the luckiest. We're actually the luckiest. Look at that. I almost feel bad. We're so lucky that I feel bad. Because we're just getting such good RNG. Bohemia, Mainz, and Saxony would help us in a direct war against uh, Denmark. And we might just do that. I'm sure Muscovy would help us as well with the favors which we're accumulating. Here we go, man. Here we go. I'm, I, I, won't, I won't like fully annex this guy even though we can because of aggressive expansion issues. Um... Let's at least take the two provinces we can take. It's really important we declare this, though, to ruin his uh, alliance with Bohemia and to separate piece of the Livonian Order and, and annul his, his alliance with Denmark so that we can actually go in against him in, in the future. Yep. Feels good. Speaking of which, after just stack wiping that little stack, let's go piece out the Livonian Order. Now, hopefully, we're not in debt, which is good. Um, hopefully, we can make some cash off stealing these this dude's cash uh yep building the favors with france and i'm pretty confident as soon as we got those favors we declare war on burgundy and he's done man i mean if you're really unlucky it, it can just kind of refuse to trigger the inheritance but heck man i'm, I'm just gonna sit on them until they're done I, i'm gonna force the inheritance by all means necessary how many favors do we have with these nations we just called in? We just used up our favors with Saxony, but that's okay. Now, Lithuania is getting ravaged by our pl pl how do you say it? Pl plot skins. Uh, I wonder if they could be successful. He was completely wrecked, but I, I don't know. The PLC rarely seems to fall apart, in my opinion, uh, lately. Does a good job of holding on. Not like the olden days. Hmm, Bohemia's not voting for us. Let's improve relations with him. Yeah, a little bit worried, guys, that our rulers so and our ear is so close to each other in age. Like, I can imagine it, guys. We're trying to do our best to kill our ruler. And then our sick heir gets a hunting accident. We're like, no. And then our ruler dies, right? With no heir. It's so typical. So standard in this game. Because if we get no heir, we'll lose the emperorship. Um, but we just have to be optimistic. Things have been going really well so far. Our siege progress. Are you what the... F are you Saxony... God, the AI in this game is despicable. It makes me, it drives me nuts. He just walked off. He just walked off from that siege when it was progressing nicely. What a piece of crap. And I left that siege because he was sitting there. Uh, I, I should have, no, I should have left a guy on his um, 
siege to maintain it, and I should have also tried to just attach them to my units, I suppose. Because the AI is just so dismal. Let's just try to attach them. There we go. It's just something we should do like 100% of the time under every circumstance ever, because the AI is just completely incompetent. And uh, I seem really salty out of the blue, like it's a big issue. I don't want, like, it's whatever. I'm, I'm trying to install it in my mind. Don't trust the crappy AI. It's so crap. Do not underestimate the crapness. Don't let it ruin this run. Be vigilant. The Palatinate. What the? Flip. Can't deal with this until we peace out. Dude. He just fully next Dreer. We can bring him back on the map. So we don't have to worry about the peace, but I can't make him an elector until we're at peace, can we? Oh, we totally can. It's all good. We're good. They should like us quite a bit for doing that. No, we're barely getting his vote. I will... Hmm. I'll improve relations with him. Yeah, I don't think this rebel is going to be successful, but it's whatever. Lithuania is having a headache. And they are kind of our enemy, so... No, 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 no. Let's not improve relations with Trier. Let's try to get the votes while ignoring Trier. Trier, Trier. I don't know how to say their name. Um, because if we're below 100, we might get the, the buff, the mission to get the buff by improving relations with him. So with the Livonian Order... Just cancel his relations, war reparations, 50 ducats, wow, there's hardly anything. I think we're going to be content with that. And the Teutonic Order, I'll take my claims the very least. War reparations, money. Pomerania, Livonian Order, Teutonic Order. So then we'll see how much more we could take. That includes Poland. Yep, we'll see how much more we can take. In terms of aggressive expansion. And uh, once we reach this Diplo rep, I feel like we're going to have the Emperor ship on uber lockdown. For now. At the moment. At least currently. Yeah. I mean, we're being voted for. We have really high aggressive expansion. So that's pretty impressive. Yay. A nice little event there. Oh, man. 22 years old. He still has no air. Oh, we just inherited him. Wow. Don't tease me, game. Don't don't flip and tease me, you damn game. Okay, so the Livonians are they're almost done. I am trying to kill George, our ruler, by using him as a general. Ah, is there peace inside the Empire? Nice. There's peace inside the empire. However, we're losing 0 0.2. Uh, we're gaining 0 0.2 less than we did when I looked the other day. What's up with that? Ah, I bet our buff just disappeared. The buff that I was talking about must have disappeared. Yes, yes indeed. Um, now, we can't take our, our military before we take up our diplo unless we want to deal with the corruption. That's a bit of concern as well. Because we're, we're not doing too well on our Diplo. And our power projection is getting low-ish for the first time in a while. Let's do a uh, insult there. Up to 65. Try to keep it up there. What is our truce with the poles? 81. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to be able to go in again against the poles. Uh, in due time. Before the year 1500, anyways. Alright. We set the Livonian Order up 
for attacking in the future. And our truce for him is not too long. It's six years. Or eight years, rather. Uh, but here we go. The fun. The fun time. 19 troops, eh? Dude, our manpower is so high. Oh, it's it's a dream. It's like a dream come true. We're the Empire. We're the Emperor. The Emperor. Uh, let's... Here's the fun moment. How much can we take? We don't care if the the Poles want to coalition us, right? None of... Like, we got a truce with all of us, except the uh, Pomeranians. And if all of it was combined, it wouldn't be too bad. Let's see how much further we can push it. Because I don't think we're going to expand anytime soon. Same deal. Same deal. It does cost us Diplo. Mecklenburg and Denmark. Yep, that's too much. So there we go. Uh, Overextensions, a non-issue. Uh, I'm glad I checked that. Oh, it's the wrong freaking nation. Yeah. For some reason, I thought I was at war with Poland for a second. Uh, screw it. Yep. Let's annul it with Livonian order. Why not? Okay, these forts are a bit too much, I think. Um, we definitely no, don't need both. And honestly, we might not need either. I think we, we don't need either. What I would like, once we take Poland, is to uh, build a fort here. Or here. Because I'll make a wall there. Yeah, I don't like these forts locations. And uh, we, our economy is not not the best, so yep, delete their their uh, faces, so we don't have to maintain them. We've got enough forts right now. Three. Make sure we are getting the votes. Something we've got to keep an eye on. We're good. We're good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And somehow our economy is, it's all good, man. Even with that overextension, doing nicely with the economy. That might prompt me to take a, uh, like a, an inflation reduction advisor. It's good stuff. Oh, wow, our current ruler has uh, shock. Land leader shock plus one. Beauty, mate. However, he has no shock himself. I'm going to swap him out with a four shock general to deal with these rebels. Now we can claim more of Poland now that our border has expanded with them. And I think pretty much we're dealing with our own instability like rebels. Uh, I might turn my army maintenance down. We've got some Teutonic Order Separatists, unsurprisingly. 27,000 of them, actually. Wow. I guess, that yeah, the unrest in these provinces kicking in as well. We could perhaps station our troops here to prevent them from spawning so that they uh, dwindles the, the, the overall amount of units that are going to revolt. We're desperately in need for Diplo points, so I actually like this mission. Reward 25 Diplo points. By just improving relations with nations. That's a good mission to have for us. Um, but yeah, I think... We're going to speed the five the heck out of this, right? Uh, doing well on power position for now. Well enough, I suppose. What's going on? Saxony is going to annex oh, and halt. That's not good. Yep, we're doing well enough. We're barely, barely hanging in there with our economy. Uh, so really what we're hanging out for is the favors of France and the uh, calling him in against Burgundy. Burgundy in succession is going to be sick. There is the chance that we're lucky and the fate of Burgundy just kind of happens. Um, and then there's the truce with the Livonian Order. We need to make some planes there. Truce with Tudens, truce with Poland. And soon enough, we're going to make our way out to the Russian region to try to vassalize Novgorod. So I suppose we're probably going to have a vassal of the Netherlands and Novgorod here 
and probably cancel our relations with the electors and just have the diplo rep from this, the diplo rep from advisor, the diplo rep from this, diplo rep from the pope. And uh, increase relations with the electors to solidify their votes. We're also going to have high prestige, which helps, and uh, hopefully high force limits. Nice. Another diplo rep advisor here. Honestly, we don't actually just need him, though, uh, for the moment. But the, we do want the diplo point, and he's the only one affordable, so let's just do it. Okay. We reduce that from, I think, 27 to 22k by putting our... Uh, troops on these provinces so that was a nice move and i uh, can defend against that man this is uh going actually like i mean i was hoping things would go in this fashion guys obviously go really well but uh i was kind of doubtful that it would go so well this is going really really well so far i'm over the moon with how this is going now we only outnumber him by 1k here, but we do have 4 shock, and he's going to get negative 1 to rolls in the woods. So. Boom. Let us consolidate our infantry. And at this point, speed 5 it. Army maintenance down. Make some money. The Palatinate. Uh, yeah, he's taking land, but we're aware of that. Uh, let's take that Diplo rep, but I might not finish this idea for a little bit. Ah, there's the, ah, yeah, another Diplo relation slot from that. Awesome. That could be our Novgorod vassal or our uh, Dutch vassal. Which, which out of these three nations has the best ideas, guys, to serve us the best as a vassal? Because I plan to, uh, when we get the inheritance, to release one of them and to just give the Flemish and Dutch land to to that nation that we release because um, that way we don't have to deal with Netherlands, Netherlands defecting that's my preferred way to deal with that Muscovy still doesn't have stop teasing me okay it's just a noble goes there no, now it's not even a free inheritance um, he had an average claim and he's obviously built up enough legitimacy to where you know we won't PU him Let's develop our land a little bit. We, I'm happy to develop the Prussian land as well because that will be fully accepted. And there are some farmlands out here as opposed to like our woods here. So let's develop this a bit with our military. We're far ahead on our military. And um, it will help us with our manpower. Situation, even though we're doing way better than I ever expected with our manpower. Create a proper fleet. I, I just don't think I can afford. And even if I could, I'd rather invest it in buildings right now. Knowing me, I will uh, probably get our fleets killed at some point. Some points. Some point. How about we transfer from here instead of Saxony? Got a lot of influence there. Speed five in this game. Building up to 10 with France. I'm surprised he doesn't want to go in for promised land, quite frankly. But that's okay. We're building up for uh, the the favors. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Why don't we take a flipping military advisor as well, even though we can barely afford it. We are saving money while we're at peace. How much rebels from Poland? Uh, pretty manageable. 11k. Nice. Um, I guess uh, fabricate on the Livonian order. We can only fabricate one province from him. Workshops become available. It's good. Yeah, um, ideally we, like, I'd be happy, it's not ideal, ideally we pass them all. <laughs> I'd uh, be happy if we get managed to pass the third reform before we hand over the emperorship. And then that would mean that we just need to save enough, like, uh, 
a hundred provinces worth to add to the empire by the time we become emperor again and that will result in a disallowed wars inside the empire which will mean we'll be gaining a decent amount speeding us along to this one which is we always inherit then the the vote at that stage and then it will pick it up even faster with the imperial authority gain 25 percent speeding along to vassalizing the entire empire so if we can reach this internal disallowing our wars by just adding land as soon as we become the protestant emperor um i feel like we could vassalize the entire empire in a really timely fashion nice trade efficiency and diplo we need events like that man very good very good we're hurting on diplo so oh i wonder how are we looking on the renaissance side of things yeah look at how it's spreading to tunis <laughs> but it's just how it is it's whatever we ain't afraid of tunis so it's getting really close, getting really close. Bohemia has embraced the Renaissance. And Poland's going to have an easier time embracing it because we made them so small. Tiny little Poles nation. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode here, guys. We do have a claim on the Livonian Order. What are you talking about? But uh, I think our next war is going to be against uh, Burgundy. We need two more favors. So I think I will speed five it. Let's quickly review our truces. Four years, Livonian order. Seven years, Poland. Eight years, the Teutonic order. Yeah, so the only other real option is uh, Denmark. Oh, I didn't I talk about that in the early game? There is the unholy alliance against uh, um, um, Denmark and Poland. But quite frankly... I'm not too worried about it at this point because we're just simply so powerful. We're just simply so much more powerful than I ever expected to be at this stage. Building favors with Muscovy again and he would help us against either Denmark or Poland. So, um, yeah. Next war is going to be Burgundy, I suggest. And we're going to really, really be hoping that the game's RNG makes it uh, easy on me. And that we get the inheritance sooner rather than later. Throughout the war, I will be maxing my relations with France because we're going to have a border with them and uh, quite some malice, I imagine. We will hope that they don't rival me. I'm not going to take this military tech because I I uh, don't want the corruption. Yeah. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to call the episode here and I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Hopefully, by the end of the next episode, we will have the Burgundian Inheritance. That would be sick. I'll see you guys then.